So first things first, attack a defender. Yeah. Should we do it? One. I said these dice roll hot. <laughs> <laughs> that was last game. Uh, Not this game. Yeah, I'll 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 go attacker. That makes sense to me. Um, I... Are you playing loot or what? Oh, we need to roll off, don't we? Actually, that's a good point. So uh, should we do one, two, loot, three, four, yep. secure, five, six, capture, secure. I don't know if that's good or bad, to be honest. Uh, I feel like I would have preferred capture, but maybe that's just me. Um, I've only been playing about a year. So oh, I, yeah, that's not nice. quite. I was a big Necromunda player in, when uh, it first okay. came out. So, yeah, yeah. And, uh, I've only recently started playing again. So, I'm going to allocate some equipment to these guys, I think. Um, it's one, two, three, four. I've just stacked up on stims just to keep it. Okay, <laughs> All 10, so, yeah. Yeah, no 10 stims. That kind of makes sense if I need to attack ops as well. In fact, attack ops are first, not equipment, aren't they? No. Yes, attack ops and equipment. Yeah, it takes time. Well, I don't know how long you want a beer. I'll run through and grab mine quickly. Right, it's no pressure. Mm. I've got all my gamer mates decided to jump on and watch. And they're all watching as well, are they? Yeah. Nice. Just, okay. Uh, <laughs> yeah. just, just to see how it goes. Yeah, going to get loads of like, uh, abusive WhatsApps. <laughs> <laughs> Why are you doing that? Oh yeah. my God, that's a terrible decision. Well, it's, it's, it's perfect. Uh, uh, what's it called? Um, punishment for me, because I just uh, gave a whole load of... I would have done this in this scenario. But now everyone can watch and can do exactly the same to me and go, you're playing Kazakhan terribly, why would you play like that? Yeah. I don't know what you're right. Um, we'll see if that's a bad choice or not that I've just done, but I've chosen it now, so... Live and regret, I guess. Live and regret. Um, I'm interested to know what Jason thinks in this matchup. Would you take Seek and Destroy? Would you take Recon? Would you take Infiltrate or Security? Sorry. Um, I've just changed my mind on my tackles. <laughs> <laughs> That's how long it took. I thought about it. Uh, that one. Uh, I want that one. He's using one dice for CPs. Yeah, yeah it's just, just a big points, one. Yeah. I've got my elite points here, so yeah. should be able to see those as you go through. I think I'm going to go with this one. Do those count. Okay, cool. So I've got got the attack ops, which is good. Uh, equipment, I am taking that, I'm taking that. And I'm taking for equipment. Yeah. Uh, so I'm going to take a stim on this guy. Yeah. Uh, it's not as good as your stim, it's not plus one wound. It's okay. just once per game I can ignore APR modifiers yeah. and movement restrictions. Okay. So what it means is he can revive someone, yeah. stab himself in the leg, yeah. and ignore the fact that he's been minus one APL. Yeah. Uh, these guys are both going to have knives, so they are 3 4 in melee, and they yeah. can 4 cadence go to 4 5. Uh, and one of them's going to have a crack grenade, I'm going to mark that with a crack grenade. So both my troopers have that. Um, and the gunners um, are going to have uh, the, so the plasma gun and the hotshot valley gun, valley girl, uh, are going to have the foregrip, which means they ignore overwatch penalties. Okay. The cool reason for that is when I do guard action, yeah. I'm going to ignore the hitting on the fires. One, yeah. So uh, that's kind of what I'm going with with that. So, Maybe it'll make me a little bit more accurate with, with what I'm trying to hit with. Oh, so what have you gone for your kill team comp composition as well? So I've got a leader with a power weapon. I've got the melter and the plasma. Yep. Uh, and then just a standard lineup. No cap and no No skull. cap, no skull. And then, uh, and then so three GA2 troopers. Yep. So I've got, uh, I've got, yeah, so I've got three GA2s. Yep. And then um, I've taken the endurance, the, uh, yeah. I'm just a surveyor for the to offer out the plus one APLs. Sweet. So, who, which guy haven't you taken? So I'm going to do the same thing. Do you get four troopers? If I took four, so two, four, six, eight, ten. So I get twelve units, right? Yeah. So especially if you haven't taken. Might going. Uh, the yeah, the void jammer. The void jammer you haven't taken. The other guy you haven't taken. Because the void jammers okay. really only play with, with cool. the skull. All right, sounds good. So you're actually going to be ten activations. Check two two or J two. He's a trooper, right? Trooper, yeah. Trooper, trooper, trooper. Super trooper. So ten activations. Sweet. Yeah. Uh, 
Sounds good to me. All right, so we've done the attack and defender roll off. We've done tackle on equipment. Barricades. Barricades, barricades, barricades. Hmm. Uh, what is Jason's thing? Jason would have gone. <laughs> is this uh, way he's doing the whole game? Yeah. Be, yeah. He would have gone uh, seek and destroy because he loves loves the leak points. So I'm interested to see what he thinks. My choices. Um, I don't blame you, Jason. So the question is: So you haven't got a. Um, Thing here, so that's the hatchway. So I can't put it within two of that, so I have to place it there. It's one option. I think I'm gonna put it here instead. So long range, just a plasma. Makes sense. Uh, so I'm just going to put this here. Yeah. Uh, so that it's. I can be within one inch of it. I want to see if I can leave a gap on either side of my base. Currently doesn't fit. Yeah. Currently Close does. Enough. So it's going to have to be slightly further over. So I can only get through on the right hand side, not the left yeah. hand side. Um, you can also get through either side because um, you're 28 as well, right? The biggest guy you've got. Yeah. Where she lives. Okay. 25s. Pretty much going to do exactly the same. Yeah, so I'm going to do exactly pretty much the same here. I want to be able to get one of my small guys either way. Mm. Yep. It's about it's about there, right? Can I get through there? You won't be able to do it either side. You have to choose. Right, the side, well, I'm That's what I just found out. Yeah. Or you can angle the barricade either side. Yeah, well, right. so you do. I'm going to commit to it. I'm going to commit to that. Cool. Looks good. My second barricade. Um, pain between those two things. I'm just going to stick it here. Just to make it a little bit harder for you to get on this objective through this route. Okay. Uh, yeah, that's cool. Alrighty. Okay, so this can't be within what of the center point, the center line? Uh, so it has to be wholly within your territory. So yeah. it can be on the center line, but it has to be wholly within your territory. So the yeah. center line is here, so you can't put it within, it has to be wholly, if that makes sense. So if I shine a light for you. Yeah, I've had to leave my laser out there with the nice. kids. Fine. You can borrow this. Uh, yeah, so that's good. So that's holding it in. There's no doors there, yeah. And there's no hatches here. Yeah. No hatches here. So you've got one here. Yeah. So you'll slightly pop them so you can see where they are. Yeah. Because I will try and mark these at some point. Yeah, I uh, hashed my doors. <laughs> yeah, just, that's uh, what I needed to do. That's fine, I can see them. I know what uh, So that's where we are. Yeah. Um, cool. And then we're in deployment groups. So, them. That maybe. Cool, I've got my four groups. Three groups, sorry. Four groups would be nice. Okay. You place first, right? That's Defender. I will, yeah. Yeah. You have no means of ignoring obscurity, which is good, I guess. Find out. Next, we go there. Comms. Just going to chill out. Uh, the recon trooper, he lets me have a free strat, uh, sorry, scouting step dash. Yeah. And you can also ignore obscurity from a single model. Just so um, so he's within range of this hatch. 
Tails can use the objective. And also in six of that objective. Also, be able to go and get within cover of that as well if he wants to. A few options, not within range of the hatch, though, so probably complete points. Okay, to original place. <laughs> Over to you. Cheers. Okay, so. Your melter gunner as well, sorry. Yeah, just up right on the hatchway here. Cool. Oh, sorry, all you guys are on concealed. Uh, yeah. And what are you guys on? Yeah, the same. Same. That makes sense. Don't blame me. Cool, 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 cool. Seems a bit unnecessarily risky to me. There. Maybe, never mind. Shoot, he's there. I still haven't figured out what I'm taking yet, so <laughs> hopefully I'll figure that one out. Because I think rosters are due soon, so I need to think about what I actually want to take and make sure I take something that's maybe half decent. I guess we will see. Oops. Sorry, dude. No, you're fine. Shuffle, shuffle, shuffle. Yeah, I quickly learned the blue tack. It's like the best tool. In oh Kelsey. yeah, I, I still have blue tack <laughs> down the board. Uh... It is so useful, particularly for barricades. I, I've blue tacked yeah. all my barricades and I'm never going back. No regrets. Leader, that's the comms, Mel Gun, yeah, uh, Endurant, yeah. So if he's, cutter, he's touching another base, he gets the he can save for them, yes, he's like, yeah, yeah. Thing. Uh, and the so your only guy on engage at the moment is my grenadier, your grenadier, okay, cool, that makes sense. So my last group is basically my long range heavy hitters, you probably saw them coming. Um, so the Mel Gun. He's going to go behind this hatchway. Um, he is going to be on conceal. I'd be amazed if you give him a gun shot turn one. Yeah, no, maybe I will. Yeah, it'd be a miracle. <laughs> like, but, but I just can't see it happening. I want to believe. I do, but I don't. I don't think it's going to happen. Um, and then I want to choose which side I want these guys to be on. So I'm going to put the sniper just chilling out here. They're going to be on conceal. 
Plasma gunner. Go here. I think with the hatchway open. Oh no, how was like I'm looking at the wrong angle. <laughs> that would be dumb. Let's put him so you need to be beyond that barricade to shoot. Where's your plasma gun? Not yet gone. It's not gone yet. Smart man. I don't like it. Uh, let's put him. He has to go really far over, doesn't he? It'd have to be there to make it. You'd have to go to the other side of the barricade to shoot him. Yeah. Yeah, I'm not going to get. I'm going to have to get all the way over here. Yeah. Other option, of course, is something like that, which you could shoot from your side of the barricade. So we don't like that. So he's going to go there, and he's going to be on engage. Um, and the Hotshot Valley Girl is probably going to be over here and on engage as well, I think. Let's say yes. Um, I'm going to use the security to my advantage. Stay more than two inches away from this. Force it so that the angle to shoot me is the other side of that hatchway. So you have to come to the hatchway to shoot him. Yeah. But I can move out six if I want to and be on engage. Cool, right. that's me done. I haven't really figured out a game plan for this game, game yet, so. <laughs> um, I'm trying to think. Do you have a means of ignoring obscurity? Okay, just so you get caught out. Don't want to hit you with a gotcha on 10.1. <laughs> yeah, I've uh, still bad. learning my ropes here, <laughs> so I've had a few of them. Yeah. I think it's important to let people know what, what you can and can't do. Yeah, right. Always. And there's a stack here. You've got no system override to open a door remotely, right? No. Just check. You do. Yeah, I've not played it though. It's good for standard stims. I think it's the right choice. I've really benefited from opening a door <laughs> yeah. first turn. <laughs> Except for getting someone sent a rocket through it. <laughs> yeah. Uh, you can sometimes catch people out with it. Yeah, okay. Alrighty, so we're into scouting step, right? Yeah. Um, I'm going to choose what I want. So tell me what you want, what you really, really want. What a weird place where I'm I don't actually think I need anything. Maybe that's just me being done though. Which one's got the crack? This guy. Here's crack. Yeah. Um, I'll go with this. I don't know if it's worth it or not. Cool. Okay. Ready? Both on recon. Uh, you as the attacker, you have to do yours first. Okay. Just gonna move him straight up. Okay. So I effectively get two of these because my. Other than he's going to give me another one. 
So crack grenade dude is moving forwards. Uh, and other trooper is also going to dash forwards, I think. Oh, sorry. Shuffling around. Probably could have done that if I wanted to. But I didn't. So this guy's going to go up there. Yeah. Um, yeah, okay. Uh, okay, I have to do my attack order, right? So I have to... Or defense order, but attack yeah. order makes more sense. Yeah. So uh, yeah. I have to, at the beginning of each turn, I mean, it's unlikely there's going to be... So you get, to, you get to choose you as initiative, right? So... Yeah, I'm going to take initiative. Alrighty, take initiative. Cool. And... Uh, strategic poise. I'm going to put that marker... I have to put this marker down, right? And then... And anyone within... Any friendly model within three inches of it yeah. is going to give you a reroll or seat with kind of like a cold ambush because it's like ceaseless, but with one number. So you can reroll yeah. all your twos or your threes or whatever. Okay. Cool. Uh, right. Let's just... Uh... I'm trying to think which guy you haven't taken. It's the Void Scanner. And I haven't got the yeah. last... I've taken the Melter instead of the last volley. Comms. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, that makes sense. Right, cool. There's nothing left in the box. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> so that's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Right, I've got... Right, yeah. The only one I can play right now is Eliminate Guards. Yeah. And I don't think you could choose anyone, though. No, my guys are kind of so it doesn't really matter. Uh, so you don't have to reel it, but... Okay. Uh, any other strategic points for you to play? Uh, no, I played attack order. I'm not doing anything else this turn. Yeah, I don't uh, think I'm going to do any either. I'm trying to think if there's anything that's going to be particularly impactful for me, and I don't think so. Um, I don't think there's going to be too much shooting, so I might just save my CP. Uh, and we'll see what happens. So yeah. your first activation. Yeah, so I'm going to kick off with Breach and Clear. Okay. So I'm going to Breach and Clear my leader and my uh, comms guy. So it has to be within three inches of each other invisible. Oh, uh, sorry. Right. So Breach and Clear is three. You're going to get a lot of that. No, you're Just fine. <laughs> so your comms is within six to get to hand out your APL. Right. I don't, I don't okay, think you that's necessarily fine. have to do a breach and clear, but like right, I'll, ju I'll just play. Uh, gonna play my comms guy. Yes. Gonna give him a, the APL. Yep. And then I'm gonna open the hatch. And you can do that because your comms is different to everyone else. You just need to be within six inches, not visible. Yeah. Which is different to what other, other right. comms are like. Well, my comms is actually better than that, but okay. Um, so he is. Thank you, Dokey. Um, I think I'm going to do some somewhat boring moves because I'm boring. This guy is just going to move six, my leader. Uh, he's going to get within one inch of this barricade to get cover, but just, if that makes sense. His second APO is going to capture this point, yep. secure it. Uh, yeah. Okay, I'll activate the leader. Just gonna dash to the door. Yep. Open it up. And get right in. I'm sensing I should have taken Headhunter. He's he's on his way. He's got a mission to, <laughs> a mission to complete. Okay. Uh The medic is just going to move to this doorway, and for one AP, open this door. Yeah. Hatchway, sorry. Door drop terrace. And he's going to chill there, just so he's visible to my dude when he goes on the point in a second. That's him. Over to you. Okay. Just going to move my melter. It's there. You can you can give him an extra APL right off one of your other units. I can, but I'm going to have to so one, move, two, open and the door, yeah, yeah. and then dash. So yeah, I can't open this. You're not going to get there. 
Uh, I could maybe give this guy a three APL, move dash, open the door, and then this guy could move dash, open the door, move four and two. He hasn't had the movement potential, so he can move dash, open the door, but then he would be he wouldn't be able to do anything. He wouldn't be able to do anything else. That'd be his maximum APL. Yeah. Chill him out. Okay. Uh, my sniper, actually no, sorry, this guy here is going to move up. He's going to go and just sit um, here. Yeah. You know what, he's going to go a bit further forward. He's going to be here, because I might need that moving potential uh, in a bit. He can move one inch to the side to get past, so it's okay. only going to cost him a little bit to get past it. Yeah. In fact, he can move that way, if that makes sense. So it's probably like half an inch of horizontal he's going to leave. Okay. But he's visible to the medic within three, not within two. Uh, he's going to tap that. Cool. Are you marking them up, or? Uh, so I've put uh, a, a red there. token on mine, but right. I can, we can put uh, yeah, these just, on yours. Yeah, just put one of them on. Just so you know. Um, okay. So my sniper. In fact, you don't have any blast over here. Do you? The only blast you've got no, is grenadier. It's just my grenadier over here. Okay, so that's kind of chill. So in that case, the sniper is going to move up to here. In fact, can I move and dash from there to the barricade? It's going to cost me two to get out, so I'll be moving forward seven. So I can actually reach the barricade, which I will do. So move, dash, yeah, and sit here, because there's no blast. And that's going to give me four APL on that objective. Oh, sorry, there was a pack up I need to reveal actually, which I haven't done yet, which I need to do. Sorry, Seize Ground, which is actually a secure hatchway, and it's this hatchway here. Which one, sorry? Uh, this one. It has to be on the center line. Yeah. Uh, so it's basically. So this if one, you this are one. within. What is it? So at the end of the game, it's like. It's like, it's like, uh, uh, like when you hold a heavy tray. Yeah, yeah. It's, it's like that, but with a hatchway instead. So at the end of the game, I need to take this. Yeah. Um, but yeah, it's, it's, it's one of these two, but all my teams on this side of the board. So yeah, no worries. It makes more sense. Okay. I'll GA2 these guys. What have you got here? So no drop no body girl. So uh, no no blast weapons here, no. Okay. Only in fact that I didn't bring any blast. I elected not to. Okay, so might be a mistake. This guy's going in here. Got to be in one triangle to open it right on a turn. Yeah. Yes, within one. Yeah. Cool. I made a bit of a misplay with this guy. That was dumb. Oh well. Can't think about it now. Um, this guy, I don't really care too much. That could be interesting, maybe in a second. So, you have no way of opening this door, this turning point. No. Okay. So I'm going to activate my guy, my recon trooper. He can ignore obscurity. He's going to select a model on the board. It's going to be your Grenadier. Yeah. And say against that model, I can now ignore obscurity with the whole of my team. So for the turn or the game? Or just for the turn. Point. Just for the turn, okay. Uh, his second APO is to open this hatchway here. Yeah. So, so he can do that once per turn. Once per turn, he yeah. spends an AP right. to give that, that benefit effectively. Yeah. And it's team wide. So you can that so his first activation is that second activation yeah. is there he's still within one inch of the heavy terrain can't be shot from over here on conceal okay i'll activate my x jack i'm just going to move right onto the yep cusp for that and capture it nice and my melter gunner in a shock move is going to do the same over here can have a melt off. Can have a melt off, maybe. The options there. Uh, so he's going to do that and capture this one. Yep. Actually, what I'm going to do is I'm going to switch these out to blue ones, so then it looks better. It's all about the aesthetics. If I have tokens that match. Got so many wounded tokens. I'm just going to message uh, my lad. Yeah, no worries. He's out there. Is he watching? No, he's playing Tommy. 
So uh, I'm just going to message him. Just let him know when he's finished his game, he can pack up and come in here. Yes. Uh, all right. What else we got in chat? Secure hatchway is so good. Yeah, I've gone, for, I've gone for security. I've popped it. I don't know. We'll have to see. I thought about it. I realized they can take it. I thought maybe on this matchup, maybe it'll be worthwhile. Maybe not. So he can shoot on conceal, right? He can, yeah. Yeah. But he can't overwatch on conceal. Correct. Okay. You're not going to open that this turn anyway, so there's no point going on guard. I can open that this turn. Yeah. Correct. Okay. Um, so yeah, I think you're right. There's not really too much I can do. It's a hotshot valley girl. Just going to chill here. Uh, I'm going to use the visibility blocking of the pillar to avoid being seen from anywhere down here. Yeah. Uh, looks good to me. And pass. Over to you. Okay. This guy can move. Open. So you got. He can. He could have three APL this turn. So he could move. Open and shoot. Potentially. Yep. But not a concealed unit except my grenadier. I can, I can GA two them, right? You can GA two them. Yeah. yeah. They're both armsmen. Yeah. Okay. Okay, so he's going to move up to the hatchway and open it. He's going to move into that. Okay. See so how many activations you've got left? Two. Two. Okay. This guy can move and dash. Yeah, he's not going to actually. I'm not going to be able to tap that. Okay, you can't tap that. Until, you can't tap that this turn. No. All right. I feel like I don't necessarily need to do too much then, if I'm honest. Um, and I don't necessarily want to give you a GA2 free metal shot next turn. So you could open that one, and then he could move and open that. But you'd have to spend a CP for blitz. So this guy is going to go just chill next to this hatchway, I think. And if the hatchway opens, he's going to be pushed away and on conceal. So does that make sense? Yep. Oh, he's on engage, but I could cover maybe further down the corner. Uh, yeah, sure. Okay, so this guy's going to move around, just da move and dash. It's going to be sort of there. I'm not at that point, yeah? Where? You're not going to open that hatch this turn. Nope. But you will open it the next turn. But you've got to get all the way. Yeah. Cool. Yeah. Um, so my plasma gun is just going to move and dash and sit himself here. Yep. He can move and dash nine that way. He's got a lot of choice. And he's got a lot of options there. So he's going to go there and just chill. I've uh, got one activation to go. you got one to go. Yeah. Cool. And I'm uh, going to move right into this corner here. Yep. Um, comms needs to hand out some APLs. So I'm going to give one to this fella. Crack grenade. 
Maybe one to the metal gun? What does metal gun get me? Not three there, because there's two doors. Dash, which me two, one to the corner. Two and then four probably. Like here. Hmm. I think you can maybe chill. So I'm gonna give it to the plasma gun. So I have that immediate threat. Should I need to? Alright. I think that's the end of the turning point, right? Yeah. So, um, attack and defender roll off. Do, do you want to score them? Yeah, so you both get three points on primary. Um, I'm just going to stick that there. I'll figure out where my dice are. Where do I keep my dice? So that too many elite dice in there, Teams are two down the lead. Uh, we didn't score any secondaries, I don't think. No. Um, Kind of a standard ITD first turn in a way. Lots of movement, not a lot of shooting. Um, should we do it? Yeah. I've managed to cock it <laughs> somehow. Six. So I'm going to get initiative. Which is nice. I'm going to go up to 5 CP. You didn't spend any CP last turn, did you? No. So you're also going to go up to 5 CP. I'm going to generate 4 elite points, up to 18. Very elite. Um, I might put a strategic ploy down. Is this guy within 6 inches of this hatch? Which one? This dude. This one? So, All right. Yeah. So you're within 4 inches, even yeah. if you went directly at the top. So within five, sorry, to get within one inch. So you can do that if you want to. Um, so I still think it would be worthwhile. Um, well, I'm going to spend one on reposition. It's somewhat boring, I think. That door's closed, isn't it? Um, I'm just going to move my melty gunner off this objective. That's going to become apparent why in a second. Yeah. I'm being cheesy. It's a free free VP. So he's gonna do that, and that's gonna put me down to four. Over to you. Okay. If he gets a shot, I need to make sure it counts. <laughs> that makes sense. So it's gonna go. That's we're in. Yeah. Three inches there, and then uh, you're gonna move five inches forwards. Just with an engagement range there. Okay. If the hatch is open for you. Good to know. Uh, that was kind of a misplay. Didn't need to do that. Didn't need to do that. Um, well, that could be funny though, to be fair. So I've got to just play my eliminate guards. Uh, yeah, I was just debating putting down a order. So I can put down what's called elimination pattern, which is basically if you're within four inches of the token and I'm within four inches of the token, uh, we both get a free elite point. I think I might put it here. So it's quite a big thing. I guess it's like actually that, isn't it? So if I put it in the middle of this, I could put it from there, chuck it down here, say. Yeah. Or if I chuck it so it's on these guys, so within four inches of him and him. So if it's here, yeah, it'd be within range of both of those guys. And then if he did come in the room and try and get me, there's a chance I'd be able to mess you up, potentially. Um, let's do that. I'm gonna put it. So what does it do? Uh, it's basically free elite point. So the way my team works, one of the abilities, so I didn't, uh, didn't know. So basically, I can modify dice for elite points. Right, okay. Uh, basically change a result up and oh, down okay. by one. Uh, this means that if I'm within four inches of this point, 
and the target of my shooting attack or melee attack is also within four inches of this point, then I get to do a free one. Right, so okay. normally I've got 18 points. The troopers get a free one. That's going to be another free one. So for instance, if I were to roll a four, yeah. I could make it a six for okay. free without spending these because I'm within range of that and yeah. a trooper point. Okay. That's the idea. Cool. All right. But you've got initiative. Are you doing anything? Uh, so that's my strategic point. Any more strategic points for you? Uh I'm gonna hold. I'm gonna. Yeah, I'm gonna play a uh, brace. Brace for impact. A close thought. Sorry, brace counter attack. So minus one dice to minimum three. Minus Actually, no, because they've got to move to. They, I don't retain it if they've moved. I can't use it if they've moved. So I think it's still got value because there's going to be potentially guys that I don't want to shoot. But up to you. Yeah, I think I think I'll hold off one turn. Okay. Yeah. Uh, we're into. My eliminate guards. I've got to play. Yeah. So I'm going to play it on this guy here. The trooper? Yeah. Cool. Uh, I'm going to do faction attack up one, which is secure vital objective. Basically, I've got to choose an objective I don't currently control, and at the end of the turning point, control it. So yeah. this one yeah. is what I'm going to control. So, uh, control means have someone on it. Have someone on it, yeah. Which is why I said it's free MVP. Yeah. So I can move them off and then do it. Yeah. Any more tackles for you? Nope. My next one's going to be secure center line. Yeah. Uh, so I need to get models on the centre yeah. line, or the hatchways. That More APL than me on the centre line, right? Correct, yeah. yeah. Probably hard to do this turning point, but yeah, yeah. now I'm familiar with that one. Um, cool. Any more tackles for you? No. So my first activation, I think it is? Yeah. Cool. So, what I'm going to do is this Hotshot Valley girl is going to sit... Within three inches of my medic? Yeah. And it's going to have a unobscured shot on your plasma? Yeah. So if you open that hatch... You get a free shot. He's going to shoot you. on guard. And he's going to go on guard. Yeah. Okay. Which you might have seen coming. Yeah. Uh, I remember he, he ignores a penalty for um, uh, Overwatch. Yeah. Can't actually visibly see you. All these guys are on conceal, so yeah. it's not going to reduce my attack dice from being into the dark. Okay. Cool. Over to you. Okay, I'm going to activate my hatch cutter. Yep. He's going to so he's going to move around the barricade. Yep. And he's going to weld shut the door. The door. No worries. So I'll put a little. So we know. Cool. And that makes sense to me. I get why you've done it. Um, Tempted to bump out some APL. That could be cheeky. What time do they throw us out? Half ten. Uh, this guy's going to move forward. Six. Nah, that seems dumb. Leader is going to move. Yeah. He's going to move and open this door and carry on moving. Yeah. And he's going to sit behind here. Like this. Staying on conceal. OT. Okay, activate the grenadier. Yep. That's where I need my bendy ruler, but I'm just going to put it about there. That's about right. And uh, he is going to tap that point. Cool. So you now control three. And I control three, which is good. Um, sweet, sweet. What else would I like to do this turning point with these guys? Um, it's kind of a bit of a stalemate waiting to see who, who blinks. 
Uh, so I'm going to activate my comms. He's going to give an extra APL to the metal gun. And he's going to give an extra APL to the leader. Right? Yeah. But what's the purpose of giving it to the leader if he's already activated? Does it retain for the next turn? It yeah. does, yeah, yeah. So it, it carries into the next yeah. turn. Yeah, okay. So you've got these guys here. What's the melt range? Okay, I'm going to play my surveyor. He's going to move up. Give my melter an extra AP. Cool. Um. So I'm going to move my recon trooper. He's going to go just here to be on the objective. Uh, he wants to be in the 3rd leader. He is. Your blast is over there, so that's fine. And for a second APL, he's going to target your metal gunner. Yeah. And let me ignore obscurity on him. Yeah. Okay, yeah. Yeah, we're really close to like the kickoff. <laughs> <laughs> it's about to happen. Okay, so he is gonna move, he's going on and he's gonna go move there and go on guard. Okay. And the other GAT guy. I don't have a card token. But... So just remember. Yeah. And I will do it on this guy here. He is going to. Well, how do I? How do you measure around? Do you just sort of? So I do have steppers if it's close. But do you, do you just want to move 60? I, I want to move what one, want? two, three. Yep. And go on guard. Okay. Yeah, that's good for me. I wish, but math don't work out, unfortunately. So I'm probably not going to shoot. Mm, oh, gonna. So I'm probably just going to shoot this guy instead. I don't want to risk whiffing, if I'm honest. So plasma gun is going to activate. Yeah. So he's three APL. Yeah. So four inches we get him here. Yeah. Two inches we get him to here. Yeah. He ignores obscurity on that guy, so yeah. I could shoot him, but I'd be drawing a cover line through him. Yeah. And so it'd be minus one attack dice. So I don't want to do that. I'm instead just going to shoot yeah. the armsman, even though it's a lower priority target, because I think I'm going to be able to move away again in a second. Because that's just a move. In a, right. So do I get move. my guard shot first? Or? You are, you can. You are not within close range, though. Yeah. So you'll be hitting on your long range profile, which yeah. will be fives, sucks, but... and then you're overwatching, so it's going to be sixes. Right. So. Okay, well, I think if I don't, your melt is going to pop round after and have a pop, potentially. So I'm going to have a go at it. Okay, so it's four dice hitting on sixes. Sixes, yeah. Yeah. Nope. Cool. Uh, so he's going to shoot. Yeah. 
Uh, so he is four attacks, hitting on fours. Yeah, AP one is it? AP two, because I'm going to overcharge. Yeah, okay, um, so I get one save dice. You're going to get your one save, right. but I'm going to see what I get. Yeah. Uh, so yeah. I think I'm just going to. No, wait, hang on a sec. You, you blocked that and you, yeah, you die. Whatever yeah. you roll. He's on eight, so he's going. Which is going to be, yeah. Yeah. So no elite points used there. For his third APL, he's going to move back. Yeah. Uh, so he's going to go quite a long way out of the way, I think, to here. He's in range of the leader and the dude there, though. Yeah. And on that objective, I think that's the best place for him to be. That he plays spent, though. Nothing at the moment. At the moment. They're all stunned silence. They're all stunned well, there's silence. no one there, one or the other. <laughs> We're waiting for it to all kick off. Okay, so if we just stick that there, just for a sec. Mm. Difficult. Okay, I'm going to move the plasma. In range of your attack order? Just outside? Uh, it's just outside. Range? Happy with that? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't want him to, I don't want anyone to, to be able to shoot him. Yeah. Okay. Sounds good. Um, it's going to be hard to get a shot on him, I think. So, I won't worry too much. Uh, so, how many activations have we got left? I've got my GA2s, I've got my Axe Jack, these two. So I've got one, two, three, four. Cool. Um, you've got four, and I've got one, two, three. Wait. You must have. Oh, no, you oh, no I've got. Sorry, one, two, three, four, five. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> I was like, that makes sense. Um, I was about to say you should have more than me. Uh, I don't really want to waste that guy's APL, but I feel like I should probably do that. You, what tackles have you revealed so far? Uh, just eliminate guards. Just eliminate guards. Um, and that's on this dude, right? Yeah. This trooper. So I feel like maybe there's something there where I go. Oh, he's on three APL, though, is he? So I can move. I'm within three of the doors. So I'd move forward two and then back four. That's probably the play. So he's going to move forward two inches. One, two. Open this hatch. Yeah. Um, and then he's got four inches of play. Plasma's been these two. It's fine. That's gonna be one out, five forwards. Cool. And then he's gonna move. Current moving is four. Can't get behind the door, unfortunately. So he's gonna go sit himself back here. Yeah. Next to his sniper mate. I'm gonna position just within one inch. Uh, so that I'm out of your charge range of your dude now, hopefully. So, just within one inch there. I'm actually off the objective there, which I guess is fine. And this guy's charge is eight, so you need to go four to get to the hatch, so then four from there, and then you're not within one inch. So that's fine. Actually, I can't charge them, so he's going to chill there. Okay. You so what you've got here, you've still got your melter here to activate. Melter still to go. This guy, and these three. Uh, the these sniper two. and the medic, yeah. Okay. Just 
turn it. Okay, so move him endurance up. Yep. He can only move two white, I don't can he dash? He can dash, yep. Yeah, it's gonna dash up. Stay on conceal. Just chilling out there. Cool. Um You are gonna get the last laugh with your guy, unfortunately. I've got that one extra activation, so yeah, I think yeah. It's gonna kind of wait you out. I think this dude just does a moving dash and goes and sits behind this door. I'm wasting that third action, but yeah. I don't want to shut the door. I think it's important for me to keep access to this objective. So I just want to make sure I get out of the way. Um, you are forced to open the door with your hatch cutter. It's yeah. an action, so you need to APL buff him, which means you need to go move the comms in range and open the door, or use a blitz point. Yeah, I've still got to work out what I'm going to do here. Oh, he'll go on PC as well, so not on English. Yeah. <laughs> I thought we were both playing really slow, really <laughs> subtle. Slow and steady. Wins a race. Wins a race. Maybe we should risk it trying to kill the um, Melter, to be fair. Debating that now. Okay, gonna activate my leader. This corner. Uh, it makes no difference where I've gone because well, actually, yeah. How close do I have to be? It's an inch, isn't it, of a door? To open uh, it? Yeah, to an inch, yeah. What, yeah. What inch? Right, I can be in an inch of that so I can stay there and conceal and open the door. Yep, you might block your roof if you're melting it. To get through there, I, I need how much for gap? Uh, an inch gap. An inch well, gap. 0.98. Right. I mean, it's a long way around, but I really don't think I'm going to get a melter shot off this turn. Okay. It's all except for you not going to get a melter, but yeah. Keep your leader safe. That probably makes sense. Um, someone's saying classic ITV game. Yeah, it really is. It really is. Nothing's happening. Um, and he is on the centre line, isn't he? Mm -hmm. Okay, so he's an army there. So I feel like I don't really need to do too much in this game. Maybe just chill. Uh, so my medic is just going to pass. This guy to activate, and this one, oh, well, we're gone, and that's it. And that guy's on guard. Yep. And that guy's on guard. Yeah. Okay. Let's start of line of sight of that door. Mm -hmm. So, just want to verify if I open that door there, he's now everyone's out of line of sight. So, if you open the door, right now. Correct, no one is visible. Move here like that. Yep. Yeah. Okay, so I'll GA two of these. Yep. Open the hatch. Stick them both on guard. Both just chill, yeah? Yep. Cool. Um. I 
And they're both on guard. Okay, that's kind of interesting. Yeah, if you can. I'm tempted just to dash and shoot this guy. And then move away again. Yeah. You get to I'll get a, shoot a shot me. off. Um, but I can go sit in cover, I think. Yeah. yeah. Sit in, oh no, sorry, I need to do a regular move, then dash. But that's fine. So I could do that and shoot him. And then your melee range of this dude, he's going to go one, three, four, five. So it's basically six for the hatchway. But if I go there, won't you shoot? You'll get a free shot, right? Uh, or is it at the end of the movement? At the end of a movement. Yeah. But it's fine, because I, I can be outside of, of range there. Yeah. Uh, this multi guy is still to go, but he can't reach through here now. Um, okay. I think that's fine. I think I'll just try and get a kill. So I'm going to regular move to get within six. You're going to get to shoot me at the end of the move. Um, but yeah. I'm going to... So it's six plus... Crit. I've got a crit for a hit here, right? No, no, so you're within six inches now. Oh, okay. So, oh, yeah, yeah. So it's on so fours for me now instead six. of threes. Would be threes, yep. Up to yeah. fours. Okay. Um, and uh, let's make sure you're within range of your attack order. No. No. Uh, is it from the centre point of the token, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, yeah. All tokens are measured from the centre. Are you in? Yeah, I think okay. I'm in. Yeah, yeah. So you get, you get your reels as well. Yeah. So I get cover save, you get your um, fours. Okay. And you get to re-roll ones if you want to. Yeah. I think it probably makes sense. Uh, Can we re-roll that? Oh. No, it's sorted itself. So I get to retain one. Yeah. It's a pretty now. good roll. I'm not lying. I need to save one of these, otherwise I'm dead. I was crit two hits. Um, so I save uh, the two hits. So two crits, three is six. Six damage. Yeah. That was significantly more damage than I was expecting, I'm quite honest. Um, which kind of hurts because I'm now wounded. Uh, but he's going to melt Gunny back. Yeah. Uh, so he now hits on fives. I think he's going to get his revenge here. So. Uh, so 82 hitting on fives. Yeah. Uh, so there's no hits yet, which kind of sucks. Uh, however, you are on an engage order and already been activated. So I'm going to spend the CP and I get Relentless. Okay. So I'm going to reroll all of those because those ones look real painful to me. I'm looking at this for two good rolls really, so then modify them into something decent. There we go. Oh, uh, good lord. That is so much better. Um, <laughs> I can't save that. You cannot save that because that is definitely him dead. Uh, and then he's got his third APL, which would be his dash. Run back. He's definitely going back, yeah. Uh, so front of his base, you can go to here. He took more damage than I thought it was going to take to do that though, if I'm honest. So I'm a little bit sad about it. Okay, and I'm going to stack my axe jack just a little bit. They don't have to cap these each turn, right? You cap it once and you've got it until the correct. opponent yep. taps it. So that is correct. he can't move, is that heavy? He can't move and shoot? He has two profiles, so he can do a normal profile which yeah. he hits on three, three, four damage, Yeah. move and shoot. Um, and then he has a heavy profile, which is three, three, more wind, three, silent. Right. So he'd have to be on um, engage to shoot you with his other profile. Okay. So I am just going to... Can you change it or if you pick... Uh, I, I, I can choose. So I, I can okay. either do the silent profile or do the other right. profile. I'm going to keep him there then. I okay. can still just chill out there, yeah? Yeah. That makes sense. Here's my last activation, I think. Yeah. He's just going to flip to... Sorry, he's going to stay on Conceal. Yeah. Uh, and he is going to shoot you with his silent profile, the guy on guard here. Yeah. Um, you are within four of my token. I'm within four of my token. So I get a free weak point. Uh, hitting on twos. And more wounds on a crit. So that's... Uh, I'm going to just spend... So it's currently three mortal wounds and... A crit in three hits. Yeah. I'm just going to use the three point to make that into a crit. So it's two crits. Six mortal wounds. Yeah. And so the minimum you're going to take is nine. Right, well, he's dead then. Yeah. Okay. Uh, and then for his second APL, he's just going to dash 
because he's heavy. And he's just going to sit just. In fact, he's going to come just off the objective, but yeah. be just within one inch of this barricade. Cool. Alrighty, so that's okay. both objective, northern that objective. Okay. So I scored three there. Both score three. Yeah. Uh, I've been using the wrong one, haven't I? That was my. That should be on. Oh my god! How much CP have I spent? I spent one, two. I spent two CP. Yeah. So I should be on three. You should be on three. I'm on five. And I should be on six. In my primaries, you should be on five in your primaries. Because you scored two on turning point one, yeah. three on turning point two. Nice. Uh, did you score any tack ops that time? Uh, no tack ops. I also didn't score any tack ops. All these guys are ready to. Did, oh, I didn't play my, ma my mouse. Oh, sorry. You can go ahead and do that. Because uh, well, I'm just gonna. I, I'm only gonna move him. Just to there, yeah. So here, on conceal. Sweet. So I also I will score one on my secure vice objective because that's what I need to do. Um, right. Initiative roll, right? Yep. See what we get. Four. Uh, cool. Uh, I can CP reroll that if I want to. On a five or a six, I get initiative. What are you going to do with your initiative? Nothing with him. Nothing with him. Plasma Gunner could come and shoot this dude. That's fine. Axe Jack. Like one, two. Probably like. Four to there, and then four forwards. So actually, it's not in charge range, so that's cool. If you're going to shoot that guy with a plasma gun, he can be revived. So I'm not going to reroll. I'm going to accept it because I think I don't care, which is an unusual okay. situation to be in. Um, and then I guess we're into uh, strategic poise. Yeah. So I'm going to play. Uh, Yeah, I'm going to play Brace for Counter-Attack for one. Yep. And that's it. Uh, I am going to spend one. So I went up to four, back down to three. Uh, I'm going to spend one on reposition. Is there a limit to how many we can reposition? I thought it's three. Uh, reposition. And all other friendly optives. God, it's literally everyone. Uh, cool. So I am going to move this guy with the metal gun. Yeah. Are you taking initiative? No, no, sorry. I. You, oh, okay. You have to take it because we yeah. both rolled the same and I had yeah. initiative last time. Sorry, I missed what you were. Sorry, yeah. So I have, I have a deploy to be able to re-roll. Okay. But I also have a deploy which is in the strategic phase where I can select a model. Yeah. And all models within three inches of it can perform a free dash. Right, got you. So I'm going to do that now. Yeah. So it's going to be my leader, so yeah. which is all of these models here, can do a dash. Okay. So this guy is going to dash to here. Yeah. And just chill out, I think. The melter gun, sorry, plasma gun is going to dash up to uh, here. There's a chance you might be able to shoot some people. I don't want you to shoot. But I'm going to have to accept that you can kill someone. Uh, so he's going to go there, into that corner. Yeah. Make it real hard for you to come and shoot me. This guy's going to just dash behind here. The leader and the trooper are going to dash to the other side of this door. He says. Yeah, sure. Um, Can I just check something? With the mm -hmm. these walls on the end, yeah. You play as if they're not there, right? These. You play like it's 90 degrees off. Yeah. yeah. So it's like that. Yeah. So if, 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 for example, a unit's like here, this. You still have to achieve visibility. Yeah. But if they're if they're on engage, they're... So if you can see any part of my body, yeah. model, you're good. If you yeah. can't physically see my model, yeah. it, you won't yeah. be good. Okay, thanks. Um, but I'm just debating. Your demo charge is... Four inches. Check. 
So this guy's going to move just to here. Hang on, Zach. Finished. Yeah. Do you want to come in and watch? How'd you get on? How'd you get on, my Tommy? Uh, good. I lost. Well, that's okay. I've never beaten him. <laughs> <laughs> Did you pack the stuff away? Mm. Good lad. You took the. I've got a few bits. Yeah, yeah, it's fine. So it's I couldn't put the terrible in. That's okay. I packed away what I could, like, dolls and stuff. That's okay. No worries, mate. Are you mm. going to be on mm. TV? YouTube. So. Next best thing, right? You're on it now as well, they can hear you. Yeah, <laughs> they can hear you in the background. See <laughs> <laughs> this mic and this mic. So, uh, cool. All right, I'm gonna do that. Okay, my turn. It is indeedy. Uh, is there any uh, tack ups you wanna reveal? Or any other strategic ploys? Your attack order might need to get replaced. Well, um, yeah, I've, I've actually placed it. Placed it there, yeah? Yeah. Okay. Um, um, and I'm, no, I've just uh, I've already done the CP for brace for counter attack. Nice. So I'm going to play breach and clear with these two. Yep. Okay. So I'm going to move my plasma right into this corner. Yep. So you can tuck him right in there. It's got. And you can see him on nice. the base. And I'm going to shoot hot. Cool. Should know these by now. So, AP two, four dice, four plus. Yep. You want to re-roll that? Uh, that's cocked, yeah. yeah. But the other two, so re-roll that one first because those are both ones, which is going to be huh. cool. We can re-roll now, all of them. Re-roll three. Uh, cocked again. <laughs> okay, uh, not, not as good as a one is. Single hit. So one hit. So I will just retain that for cover. Yeah. Um, that's very unlucky. Yeah. And then my axe jack is going to move and close the hatch. Okay. And sort of camp it out there. Unengage it. I can't hide. Okay, that didn't quite work out as planned, but that's no, okay. That was, that was pretty unlucky, to be fair. I, I thought you were going to do some more damage than that. Um, okay, well, in that instance. Um, I'm going to uh, do you want this guy to be on engage or conceal? Uh yeah. There's no benefit for him to be on engage. Yeah. So. Makes it hard to shoot. Yeah. Um cool. So I will hand out some APL, I think. His guard's gone, obviously. Uh so I'm gonna hand out two APL with my dude here. It's going to go to my plasma gun because he's a hero, and it's also going to go to my melter gun because I think he needs the extra movement. Over to you. Okay. His APL's gone. He... Oh, right no, no, it's not gone. It's still there. Real mission in the chat. No. People still watching. <laughs> Dear Dave, your rules suck. <laughs> <laughs> now it cost me two to reopen that, right? Or, no, or is it just your one? Hash cut, your hash cut, so you can open it for one. Yeah, that's what I thought. Okay. So he's good. Yeah. He's only got two APL. Only has two APL. Three APL. Three APL. Correct. I can't open that hatch just turn. Yeah. Because this guy can't reach it, and then he has. You have to be moving dash. Yeah. This guy could reach it, but I've already used my comms. Okay. Okay, I'm going to move my survey up. He's going to move uh, up here. He's only got to be within six inches, right? To give the APL, it doesn't have to be direct yep. line of sight. Correct. So I'm going to put him on. Well, there's no point putting him out in the open, so let's just keep him concealed. And he's going to issue an APL to the Grenadier. Nice. Uh, 
Uh, you've already used your breach and clear there, right? So there's yep. no more GAT. Nope. So I'm going to get some warning of that, which I don't mind. That's cool for me. I've not killed one of Ryan's units yet, Zach. <laughs> but I'm not doing as bad as the last game. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so if I move five. So this guy's going to move. Yeah. He's going to open this door. Yeah. So continue his movement just to sit on the center line. Yeah. So I think if I go four and one, M and then one, move one back. Yeah. Uh, just so that, out of the way uh, that just sort of goes like that, right? Yeah, so he's got to end basically within two of this, but he wants to chill on the centre line yeah. in cover from this way. Because um, I need to start securing the centre line. As much as I'd love to shoot that guy with this dude, I don't think now's the time. Like that, cool. Over to you. Okay. Okay. Oh, sorry, I should have generated more elite points as well. Uh, have I not spent any elite points yet? I don't think, I don't you think don't I have. have. That's insane. I just rolled that hot. I believe. <laughs> Alright, I'm going to play my uh, uh, armsman here. Yes. Who is going to move up. He's going to go on Casil. Yep. He's going to move up here. Yep. Don't remember what that was, he was for. He was in guard. It's fine. All oh, right. Yeah. Last turn. And uh, so he won't be able to open the hatch. No. For for one. The hatch cut will. He's going to stack. Next to the hatch cut. Yeah. Cool. He's going to go like. Let me think about this. Yeah, it's going to just stack up on him on Casilda. So I've just taken the token off him. Cool. I'm going to dash the sniper this corner here and he's gonna shoot the plasma gunner yeah he's hitting on twos I don't have any re-rolls on this might can spend some but hit him versus him yeah uh, so looking for twos uh, a crit will give me uh, mores I've actually managed to roll two ones that's pretty impressive uh, I've got three CP so what I'm gonna do is CP re-roll this one because I can make some more, more than a second. I want it to one again. Okay, I'm going to see if you roll the other one. <laughs> that's kind of sucks. I actually could have rolled all of those for one CP, but I thought it'd be better. Uh, I've now got elite points, so what I'm going to do is three for three elite points. So it one on this. Yeah. It's going to become six. Yeah. So that's six wounds from the uh, mortal wounds. From that, and I discard. Do I discard that? No. I'm going to, I'm going to leave it. You have to pass all your saves. So. Yeah. Nope, nope. That cool? Okay, so that's him out. That's exactly mine. Yeah, yeah. much a bit more. Than that. Okay. Oh, it's not, not a good round here. Dropping like flies. I don't think you're in too bad a place. Mm. Okay. Activate my grenadier. Yep. We got left here to activate this guy. These. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Yep. So Melgun, Plasmagon, Trooper with Crack Grenade, Leader, he's APL buffed. Okay. Uh, all spec seed, Hot Shot Valley Girl, Medic. All of them. <laughs> <laughs> Most, of the the team. Most of the team. Most of the team. Okay. Okay, so what I'm going to do with my leader is close the door. Yep. Should still be on that centre line. Yep. And concealed. And that's his turn. Okay. I'm just going to stop again on that centre line. Sounds good. Um. So I think. 
better CP, I think. I was debating full K during, but I don't think I need to. Who's left to go, sorry, for your guy? You've got Mel Gun and Mel uh, and Enduran and Grenadier is in his own little room, so I think, don't think he's going to do too much. Um, I'm just going to keep spamming the vital objective because yeah. <laughs> I can. This guy's going to move onto it. Uh, as it was last time, I guess, maybe. No, actually, no, he's moving a bit further forward this time because I want to be able to get him to even get a certain wine next time. So he was here, so if he moves six, I've got the potential then to move up to the same line or there. Wherever I need to go. Yeah. Alright, mm -hmm. cool. Over to you. Okay, just going to move my grenadier right up on the centre line. Yep. And that's his activation done. Okay, so currently you've got leader and grenadier on centre line. Yeah. Um, that's kind of fine. Um, the Hotshot Valley Girl. Oh, this guy can actually probably do some decent charging now. You can charge. Probably wanted to move both of them. So he's going to just move and dash. Go on, Ku. There's no way I can shoot you. So. Go on to conceal. Just chill on this objective over here. Uh, he's going to be one inch back. So just actually just off the objective. Yeah. Together? Okay. okay. Over to you. Okay, how, did, who did you nominate that you could shoot when they were concealed this turn? Did you do uh, oh, I did do yeah, that, did I? I'll make it the metal gun, sorry. Okay. I, I assume the, that's what it would be. He's the only person that's a threat, right? I think. Yeah, that's fine. Okay, well, I'm just going to move my endurance on conceal. I'm going to tuck him right up there just to get him a bit more. Cool. But not on the centre line. Well, uh, because... Where is it? So if I, I have to be... If I put him here, it's still concealed behind him, right? Yeah, because you're if you're touching his base exactly, yeah, because the base is just under one inch, and his base is touching that base exactly. Yeah, you are just within one inch from that angle. Yeah. yeah. So that works. So you now have three bodies on the same line. Okay. Um, which is cool. In fact, I think if you touch the hatchway, you can as well. Um. This guy goes three and then moves four. I do need to start moving in that sort of direction, I think. So he's going to do that. Uh, he's going to dash there. Yeah. Then regular move. Um, he's going to sit just outside of three inches of you. Over to you. Okay. Right, I'm going to pass on my melter. Cool. I don't think you can get... Who's got three APL here? Like, can they get... This dude and this dude. Well, can they get... I suppose you could dash to there. I, you're on the seal. I yeah. don't to the angle. Yeah. Yeah, that's it. It's yeah. not happening this time. Um, I do kind of want to get a secure centre line there, if I'm honest. I thought that would be a good move to get. I don't even think I can get the movement potential to get within range of you, even if I wanted to. Um, is that you fully activated? Uh, yeah. That's you done, right? Yeah. So for center line, you've got one, two, three. Yeah. So and six, I've got six one. APL. So I could score at this turn by moving these guys out, should I want to, and do some weird conga line of death. It's an option. <laughs> I'm not sure it's a good option. Uh, I don't know what happens after that. I mean, that could be interesting. He'd be able to do that, he'd be able to do that. We are greater than three inches away. So, what I'm going to do, everyone's going to see, right? Yeah. Cool. Uh, is this dude is going to move and sit within three inches of this dude and be on the same line. Uh, something like this maybe 
Yeah. Uh, there's literally no point in me doing anything else, but make sure I actually have on the center line. That's your plasma, yeah. That's the okay. plasma. Yeah. Uh, but yeah, it looks good there. Then this guy, is, sorry, you can do this on conceal, I guess. There's literally no point in being engaged. Um, and then I'm going to do the same for the metal gun. But he's going to do like to here. Um, oh, okay, so. And then one um, dash. Then the trooper with the crack grenade. Yeah. It, oh, sorry, metal guns on two wounds. He got hurt by that. So those three plus one APLs are gone. Completely wasted them. Uh, the this guy is going to do a moving dash, and he's going to sit on the center line. Also on conceal. Yeah. And uh, if I need to slide further over, I can do it so he's within three of him as well. So he's going to get here. Yeah. So they're all on the center line. Okay. That's now four on the center line. You've only got three, so I'll get secure center line, and they can reposition if I select him. Everyone's moving everywhere. Yeah. My leader's the last guy to go. Yeah. I've got no overwatch, so. Uh, he's just going to go and move directly behind this door. And chill out. And wait for the onslaught next turn. Yeah. Okay. That, I think, is the end of that turning point. Okay. Get my final objective again. Yeah. I score three. Uh, I also score three. So up to nine. I got three on my secondaries. I've got no secondaries. I'm on eight on the primaries. And I'm going to get another four elite points. But well, actually, well, we do an initial roll first, I guess. Okay. Let's see what happens. It's a good roll. Need that. Oh, oh it's a better roll, though. That hurts. That's not great. Sorry. That's going to move me. <laughs> I think that's going to finish it. That's going to probably make it quite painful. Um, well, I don't know. There's, there's a lot of stuff I need to try and do. And I don't know how best to do all of it. So, uh, what I am going to do, obviously, is, I mean, that guy needs to die. Um, kind of a shame that he's not already in a place to be killed. Um, but I need to dash some people. So, I got TCB. Yeah. Um, you're also up to like five. So I'm gonna play, yeah, I'm back up to five. I'm gonna play Brace for counter attack. Nice. Okay, so I'm gonna do my free dash on this dude. Yeah. Which is gonna affect all of these. Oh my god, so many people. Uh, now let me just make sure, do I have to end not within? I can't select someone who's within, but do I have to stay outside? That will given all other friendly options in three options. I can move forward, which is cool. So, Medic and Trooper are going to go through. So Medic's just going to go and move just outside. Yeah. He's going to stay outside of engagement range of you. Uh, Trooper will effectively do the same. Um, this guy can go. Yeah, so Trooper is going to do the same. He's going to go to here. I don't know who's best to kill this guy. I'll figure that one out in a second. Um, actually, this sniper is going to dash to here. The trooper is actually going to move there. The sniper can go there and get them to me. He's the best guy to do this. I'm leaving a gap for my sniper basically. Yeah. He's going to go there. He's putting my first activation so I don't worry about it too much. He's there, he's there, he's there. These three. Uh, Melty Gunner. Just tuck behind here. Uh, sniper's in the way. Can't do that. Crack grenade, so crack grenade dude is gonna move. It's gonna give you some problem so you have to deal with him. Uh plasma gun dude is gonna move back to here. If 
fact, it's going to go to there, and what we're going to do is going to go to there. So they're both ready to jump out. That okay. more dashes. Yeah. It's a lot of dashes. Uh, that puts me down to one CP. Any strategic points for you? No. Nope. Oh yeah. Uh, well, I've got to nominate and eliminate guard. Uh, um, so this guy is about a target. Yeah. I mean, and he's going to move straight away. But yeah, he's it's going to be. He's going to move to here. Yeah, I'm gonna. Well, I'm going to pick him because I don't. This think, guy. Yeah. yeah. I don't think I'm going to get any of them. So. Cool. Um, so my first activation. Yeah. Cool. I'm going to do the sniper. He's going to move to get within two inches of you, but just outside of one. So yeah. basically just here in the doorway. This could go horribly wrong, by the way, <laughs> if you don't die. But I believe in the leap points. Yeah. It's... Shoot this guy. Okay. So he's hitting you on twos. Yeah. I've got one CP for a reroll. I've got the world of elite points. Uh, so, you know what? I can spend two to make this into a crit. And I think that's a minimum of nine, right? Yeah. So you're dead? I can't, I, yeah, I've only got eight wounds. So, because even if you save everything, you would take the six mortals and three. Yeah. So, yeah. No. yeah. Cool. Alrighty. Okay. How many? So you got another t four APLs in them too, right? Yes. But this is the hatch where I'm trying to get to. Yeah. Really well. Okay. I don't need to nominate a vital objective because I've already maxed okay. it. Okay. Which unit were you going to... Was it the melter again you wanted to have as your concealed? No, no. I, I, I do that when this guy activates. Oh, so okay. Right, fine. you got a bit of time. Okay. Right, like okay. you put that on the... So I can't hide behind it and cap it. Okay, so I'm going to activate my leader. Yep. And he is going to, he can charge him, right? Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. A bit easy. But I don't have to hit, is that right? You don't have to fight if you don't want to. Yeah, just going to. I do have the ability to spend a CP and fall back for one less if I have a friendly model within six. Right, so okay. This guy could let me fall oh, back for one less. Right, well, let's, let's go for it. Let's, let's. Yeah, I'm gonna attack. Fight me, yeah? Yeah, I just wanna try and clear some stuff up. So this is a trooper with a knife. So he gets three attacks, hitting on fours. I've got four. Hitting on threes. Hitting on, yeah, hitting on threes. Lethal, five plus. Where you go, brutal. Uh, so it's three regular hits. Yeah. And my thing, I think whatever happens, he's dead, my guy. So I got a single hit so far. Can um, you use CP to re-roll the one? You don't need to. Oh. So the reason why is because even if I say, so even if I got multiple hits, you yeah. can hit me for four damage. Yeah. I'm only eight wounds. Yeah. So whatever I do, even if I parry you, yeah. you're gonna kill me. Yeah. So the only thing I'm gonna oh, do. Oh, so yeah, it doesn't matter. Yeah, doesn't yeah, matter. The only yeah. thing I'm gonna do is spend a free elite point, which he yeah. gets for free. To crit. And then another one to make it to a crit. Yeah. So the only difference is I'm gonna hit you for four damage back. Okay. So that takes him down to What's he on? He's on nine wounds. Okay, so it takes it up to a five. And this guy's dead. Yeah. Chopped his head clean off. Was that a breach and clear or was that the only activation? Sorry. Uh, no, that was the only one. That was the only one. Cool. I'm saving the breach and clear. So he is dead. Um, then I will... Medic is just going to move. I would like to get the center line, but it doesn't make a difference. Just going to move over here and capture that objective from you. Yeah. Cover your measure. Yeah. Cheers. Okay. Play breach and clear. 
Yep. With these two. Okay. He's going to give the Melter an APR. Yep. And he's going to move here, on Kassil. He's going to go engage. So he's got three APR. He's going to dash. Move to get the angle. Move to get the angle. And fry the bow then. And put your... Let me just do that again, just so I can... Yep. I should be able to get like a clear shot here. Because the door doesn't count, does it, when it's open? Correct. Are you happy with that? Uh, well, the door does count, but you, sh you can definitely get the angle. Because okay. you can just move your base so that the other base is there. Yeah. And then get the angle to shoot. Good shoot. Yeah, that's good. Right. Come on, Melter. And you want to shoot the sniper <laughs> or you don't want to shoot this guy, yeah? I want to shoot the guy that I had eliminate guards on. Oh, it's the sniper. Yep, it's just the sniper. Gotcha. Well, Good. Um, Toasting. Okay, so Melter, four dice, four plus. Fours and fours. APT. Uh, yes. Better rip. Two hits. Do you want to use any CP to re-roll these? Yeah, I'm going to re-roll them both. I need to be sure. Here. Just do it one at a time. And the reason why, oh, okay, yeah. is because it's you can, to... if you get another hit, he's guaranteed to die. Yeah. And you can save yourself CP. Okay. He's guaranteed to die. Okay. You only spend one CP, and that guy is dead. And I'll score. Right, I'll do it at the end. And you get seven eight yards. Yeah, that's good. Um, still waiting for that to come over, which is fine. So what I'm going to do is Hotshot Valley Girl, who hasn't done anything this game yet, just walked around and guarded, is going to move to within an inch of the hatchway. Yeah. On engage. Is going to shoot some hot Hotshot Volley Lead into leader. Yeah. So it's five attacks, hitting on fours. P1, so we get a crit, it's AP1. And yeah, that's it. Three, four damage. Nope. I can't say that. So it's <laughs> two crits and a well, hit. I could. And what does a hit do? I'm just going to make three, four. So I'm going to make spend two elite points. Yeah. And make that. So I can't save that. Yeah. So that's going to be minimum damage will be three. If you so if you roll two crits. Oh, okay, no, sorry. Yeah. Minimum damage will be six. Yeah. yeah so I right, can't save it. Correct. We've got so many elite points. It makes sense just to spend them. Yeah. Cool. Okay. Right, I've got to do something here now. So my hatch cutter's going to open the hatch for one. Yep. And he can't get, can he cut through there? No. No. You can move through it. You can move through here anyway. Oh, I can. So within one inch of a hatch, yeah. you can move through it as if it's not there. So okay. all this bit, you can yeah. go through. All right, so if I can measure that. One, two, three. So you can get to the edge of the barricade. Yep. Yeah, because it's on conceal. Okay. And over here you've got demo and a regular dude, right? Yes. Okay. I can take that off. Um, you're right. What are they saying, Zach? God dice. God dice. God dice. That's <laughs> putting me rolling the. Uh, <laughs> I rolled, loads of crits. I rolled a lot of ones at the start. You rolled a lot of ones at the start and I rolled a lot of sixes, so um, there's not too much that you can do about that, unfortunately. But if I complain about that, they'll all run on the WhatsApp <laughs> they'll, all, they'll, they'll say, uh, they'll make comments. Uh. <laughs> uh, just click, uh, this guy's going to shoot the Melgun dude. Yeah. Uh, he hits on fours. He gets a free elite point because he's a trooper. Uh, just a single crit. But what I can do is spend three points to make this three into a crit yeah i can discard this one then spend two points to make that into a hit okay so two crits and a hit two crits and a hit okay Easy. nope that's gonna be game over for him yeah he's dead uh 11 damage go three he's then gonna regular move just to this hatchway here and he's just gonna chill out okay Okay, the endurance. What points? It, what's your VP total now? I don't think I can cap you. Catch you. So you're nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Yeah. 
Okay. So I don't know what other things you've got to reveal, but... Yeah, um, I don't think I can really... Okay, this guy's going down to engage. Yep. He's going to move. Is it here? Yep. Right, he's got full visibility of him. Any of these guys? Yep. Uh, you can probably got full visibility of this guy. Uh, oh no, he's on conceal. No. But I do have visibility of you. Yeah. We're in turn of point three, aren't we? This is turn of point four. Oh, four, sorry. Right, yeah. yeah. It's flown by. I can't really do anything, except unless I line up here. I mean, a kill's not really benefiting me either. So, for the guy who's just joined, uh, I'm on nine on primaries. This is turn of point four. Um, Dave, you're on eight on primaries. Yeah, and one secondary. Um, one secondary, so one eliminate guard. I have max vital objective, the free VP, so I've got two points on that. I've got one point on my secure center line. Um, and I currently own four objectives. I can shoot your melter, if that doesn't count, right? The, the wall. The plasma. Uh, the plasma, sorry. Yeah? I can have a shot. It's not going to kill him, but yeah, yeah, I've got to do something with it. Long range, yeah? Yeah, long range. Cool, cool. So, uh, long range, four dice, five plus. Well, that's not bad. Okay. Critting two hits. Yeah, I'm so... Right. I might as well use CP. Yeah, yeah, go for it. Just to give it a shot, mate. Three, four up saves. Makes two, takes the crit. Is that two damage? Yeah, grand total of two. <laughs> two damage? Yeah. Well, every little helps, never know. So he is on six remaining. Yeah. Uh, so, I think... For the lols, I'm gonna give. If the melts are gonna move seven, two, five, seven. I'm oh, not with the range. Of him? Yeah, no, it's fine. He's in conceal. Oh, yeah. He's just, yeah, within, yeah. just within one inch here, yeah? Yeah. Um, so he should be able to be just tucking behind that barricade. So I can't kill him with the melt gunner. Bit of a shame. Oh well. So what I'm going to do instead is who's on the center line? One of these guys on the center line, I'm sure. Uh, Hotshot Valley girls on the center line. So I'm going to buff APL buff, Hotshot and the leader. So they're both on three APL. I'll try and do some cool stuff with the leader in a second. Yeah. Over to you. Okay. Grenadier. I've got every ruler on the table. <laughs> One, two. I think I can get to like a grenade range of this guy. So the only bad news I've got for you is on into the dark, grenades indirect is only three inches. Ah, uh, okay. So it okay. would be a nine inch threat range. So you'd be moving. There, the further should be getting it, yeah. Like here, okay. I can't get close enough to tap it, nope. so I'm gonna activate my uh, endurance. Yep, so it's gonna move to there, go and engage, cool, and guard, yeah, uh, and, and long range. Uh, yeah, I might as well just go on guard. I mean, cool, it doesn't really matter either way, it's not gonna affect the points. So, um, sweet. The next thing, don't really mind about him. I'm just gonna sit outside of six inches of you. Uh, you could actually potentially kill him with long ranging, which is amusing, I guess. So I'm gonna move the plasma gunner onto the center line. Yeah. You can long range me if you want. Uh, I'm about to hit you with plasma. So. You're going to hit me with a plasma, aren't you? So that's yeah. So it's uh, yeah, so the heavy shotgun. 
probably know what these are by heart. Uh, so it's uh, long range, four dice, five plus relentless. So yeah, you're relentless in this. Which is good. It's a good roll so far. So we roll the three and the four. Okay. Crit and two hits. Two hits. Potentially. Enough here. Oh, that's actually going to be enough, isn't it? It's going to be exactly six damage. So I'm going to spe uh, spend a CP. Reroll this one. That's five five damage. No, because no, I haven't said anything yet. Oh, sorry. Yeah. I've hit everything. So I, sa I save one. Yeah. So I take four, yeah? What's the damage reroll? Yeah, no, it's two. It's, you take three. If you save that, it's two and oh, one. Oh, right. It's only, it's only one, two. Yeah. Oh, okay. Then I, I shouldn't have CP rerolled. Whatever I did. Yeah. Uh, that's he'll, okay. he'll take, um, what did I say? Two. Takes three. takes three damage. So he's down to three. Yeah. I thought I thought for some reason it was two two damage, not one two. Yeah. Uh, he's going to shoot you back. Yeah. Because uh, I'm a mentalist. Well, you might as well hot roll. Let's hot roll. Last, this is last. And I've got loads, right? loads of stuff. I didn't get two, so that's fine. So he's going to modify this result. So I am injured. So that's two hits so far. Uh, that's going to cost me four. So yeah. I don't mind. It's AP two, right? Yeah. So uh, AP two and. You auto retain for cover. I think you're left with one wound remaining. Uh, you what do you do? Because you've got a stim. Ten damage goes three. Yeah, four on one. One wound remaining. Yeah, you're good. Alrighty. Okay. Grenadier time, so right? Grenadier. He can, he's got two. He's got two AP. He can't. He, I don't think I can do anything. Uh, anything at all. Couldn't have even moved and naded you. Well, there's, there's absolutely nothing I can do, so I'm going to pass on him. Cool. I'm going to try and do something cool on my last activation with this dude. He's going to charge here yeah. against the regular uh, dude. But yeah. he's going to get within two of your hatch cutter. Uh, and he's going to fight you with a chainsword. Uh, so he hits you on uh, threes, and yeah. he's got ceaseless. Okay. Yeah, I've got the hatchet. He got two crits and two hits, so I'll see what you roll and figure uh, out why. Three dice, four plus. Oh, that's not bad. Yeah, and I'll use my CP to re roll one. Okay, I'll take that. Uh, so I'll spend two points, uh, making this into a crit. I don't even need to, I don't think, but whatever. I might as well. What does a crit do? Five damage. Yeah. So I'm going to hit you for five. He's only on eight wounds. You hit me back for four. Yeah. I kill you for the last yeah. five. Uh, and that is the last. And then he has three APL, so he's going to shoot plasma pistol yeah. into the hatch cutter. So this guy's dead. Yep. Three's re rolled, uh, no re rolls. Oh, that's bad. Um, that's not that bad. He's going to make that into a hit. So AP2, takes three mortal wounds. So he's taken a total of four from the hatch and six, seven, so he's two wounds remaining. Yeah. But that's a minimum of 10 damage through against the hatch cutter. I think it kills him. Yeah, I can't say that. Yeah. And then the rest of these moves are a bit. Yeah, is there anything you can score on? Pointless. So I'm going to max seize ground. Got all my APL on there. I'm going to max cure center line because I've got three. This guy's just going to move here. I don't need to worry about it too much. Uh, so I've definitely got more than you on yeah. that. I'll get four of my primaries. So I max tack ops. I get four on primaries. Yeah, I get two on primaries, which um, takes me to ten. So plus my one secondary. Uh, yes. So total for me is thirteen primaries, six secondaries. Yeah. Uh, yeah, that makes sense, doesn't it? Yeah. I think that's it. Good well, game. Great. Cheers, mate. So I think with breaches. Um, Using some of their strategic toys, like their, their so for a start on Into the Dark, a lot of it comes down to turn one movement. Yeah. So like, not getting that point there. Yeah, it was vital, and I didn't pick it. Yeah. I should have used my uh, uh, recon to get up there to open it first, so that my other units could pass through and cap it. Yeah, yeah. I realised that immediately. So you can have like a GA two option here, where you can have a guy that can move. Onto the objective, and another guy there, and then yeah. you can just one can move up and take it, the other guy moves and does this thing there. Yeah. Um, because you not taking that meant that I knew that if the game just stalemated. Yeah, you would always have the edge. Well, I'd always have the edge. Yeah. Um, and Kaz can have a really mean ability where I can move off objectives. Yeah. So it becomes really easy for me to deny you as a Yeah, cards. and I really didn't make the most of my plasma. 
uh, he was sort of stalemated him out. So it's interesting. So I would have taken the cat in this matchup, yeah, because it's just so good for area denial. Um, so you could have really, I, I think, forced some some difficult plays for me because if you move the cat, let's say over here or over here, if I if I leave a guy on this objective, then you can then move the cat up, reveal him, and yeah. then hit me with the plasma. Yeah. Um, and I think in that sort of matchup, maybe like a las volley plasma might be really good against these guys because. I don't think the plasma is necessarily doing too much no. that you need. Does the cat have to have full line of sight? To... So the cat just needs to be visible. Yeah. And it places the token within six inches of it. Even if they're concealed. And anyone within three inches of it gets treated as if they're on engage order. Right. So okay. like for instance you could do something, so the cat gets a free pre-game dash. Yeah. So he can move like four inches up, right? Yeah. So he can be here somewhere. And then during his activation he can move up to this door here. Yeah. And just chill. And then the comms can then when someone else moves and open this door, give a give a point out, right? Yeah. So it's it immediate. also gives you, uh, yeah. And, and all, all you need to do realistically is put a point right in the middle, because anyone within three inches of this is going to be revealed. Yeah. But you could also put it so it's like here if you wanted to, and then if I have someone on the hatchway, they're revealed as well. Yeah. So then you have like this, this ability just to reach out and shoot people I don't want you to shoot, um, and that could be really useful for just. Getting some early kills and yeah, yeah, putting yeah, pressure really on and respecting me, yeah. uh, and, and, and forcing me to respect your long range shooting. Because um, I think being a little bit too cagey might have just cost you. Yeah, I played very safe for the first couple of rounds, and then yeah. it took me too long. I couldn't get back into it. Which I think would have been fine had you gone three three yeah. in the first two rounds, but because you'd gone two three, yeah. that then meant you have no turn, pressure to push. Yeah, I I didn't need to move out, but yeah. you did. Yeah, and so you were waiting for that. We were, you were constantly chasing that. That advantage. Yeah, um, that was good. Yeah, well, cheers for that. No worries. Breaches are like a, I, I find, quite a complicated team to play because they're, re they're really slow. Yeah. So you have to like get into position and then they become explosive. Yeah. But you've got to set it up. And you also, you're very, what I think is initiative dependent. So you're reliant on initiative a lot with them. So I think Kazakin can be a tough matchup for them because I can always re-roll that initiative roll. Yeah. So I think I got initiative every turn point, didn't I? Like, uh, uh, I think you got it, yeah. You, no, you got it, uh, I think I had the first, I had the oh, second and, and third, I, maybe. I, 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 I gave I, it to you on turn point two, yeah. there wasn't any threats. Yeah. Which is probably like the, that was probably an indication that, that you weren't, you hadn't moved up enough. Yeah, yeah. Because if on turn point two I go, I'm just not going to do anything, then that, that's, a, that's, a, that's a pretty safe yeah. area for me to be in. No, that's good. All right, right, Zach, we've got to pack up, mate. Okay. Yeah, we've got really to get you home. Good. Definitely home time. I've got to get home because you... I've got to drop Gaga off, Grandma off when we get back. All right, sorry. She's been on the wine. <laughs> uh, you know what I'll say anything in chat? What people say? GG. Uh, that's it. It's breaching it. Right. Um, well, I think that is it for everyone watching. Um, mm -hmm. Anything you want to say at all? Or to tell anyone on YouTube? No, I think we're good, aren't we, mate? Yeah. All good? <laughs> it's late at night. It's late, isn't it? Yeah. <laughs> you look knackered. Um, although we, we did finish earlier than we ended up finishing the week yeah. before, which is good. Do you want any help tidying this up? No, mate, you go yeah, home because right, yeah. you've got, you got stuff to do. People right. drive, up, drive away. So yeah. Cheers, bud. I'll right, away. I'll, 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 are you going to the Warhammer thing next week? Uh, at war the weekend, though. The weekend? No, I'll be away. I, I'm off to America. Um, so, yeah, with work. So. Right, come well, Thanks for the game. Yeah, cheers, mate. No worries at all. We're not uploading them on. Oh, I think it would just letting Chris know it's right. for the league. Okay. Right, so you're right messaging him. Yeah, yeah, I'll, I'll do all that. For you, you get the door, mate. Got my hands full. Yeah. Sweet. Take it easy, mate. Oh, Take it easy. Come on, mate. Let's go and pack your stuff up. Alrighty, I'm gonna end the stream there. Thank you all for, watch, uh, for watching, and uh, I will not see you next week because I'm gonna be in America. So I'll end up seeing you guys when I'm back, probably. So we'll see how it goes. That brings us in this episode. Hopefully you found something new or useful while listening. If you did, throw in a like would be greatly appreciated and share this with your friends so they can benefit as well. If you want to make sure you don't miss any episodes, make sure to hit subscribe and select the bell icon so you get notifications as soon as the next episode drops. It really is the best way to help a small channel like ours. If you can't wait and you do want early access, you can join the Patreon where you get exclusive access to all of our content ahead of time, as well as exclusive videos, access to the Discord, 
and tournament rewards. If you are an existing Patreon, let me take this moment once again to say a massive thank you for your support. As always, we'd love to hear your thoughts and feedback. Just drop a comment below and we'll get right to you. Thank you so much for listening. I'm your host, Ryan. This has been Turning Point Tactics, and we'll see you next time.